you folks, Sheldon from the Outlaw Speed Shop. And uh, got another project going on here. I started it, I guess, day before yesterday. And I've been kicking around wanting to build another tow truck hauler, whatever you want to call it. And uh, was going to be for my Studebaker, but this bed's pretty narrow, and the uh, uh, doesn't does it fits, but not doesn't fit very well. So um, at this point, it's just a hauler. So I went through some cabs and stuff that I had, and matter of fact, this this uh, bed was just sitting up here on the bench. I've got several different ones. And so I went through some cabs, and this is a 41 Ford as, as much as I can uh, figure out. That it, 40, 40-ish, 40 44, anyway, somewhere around there. And a nice cab and everything. So I just grabbed it and started... Uh, you know, think, okay, that's what I'm going to do. Um, so, um, I had three of these frames. Well, matter of fact, here's another one. Back when I was building some haulers before, I had been practicing with different things and whatever. And anyhow, I had, I had three frames. So, I just grabbed one that was close and started working with it and Turns out I cut and hacked and this and that and everything else to it and finally got it. I, I bent it to my will. Let's just say that. And so, um, so here we are. So let's dig into this a little bit. Um, so, like I say, it's a Jimmy Flintstone cab. So we'll set this off over here. And... Um, I grabbed the front axle and springs out of a 50 Chevy pickup. I was looking for, oh God, what was I? I was looking for something else and I couldn't find it. So I went ahead and went with that. And then it was a cutting to a bunch of whatever. And so I got the bed here. And so I used the rear springs from the 50 Chevy, and I used a, a, a Dana 60 rear end. Um, I've got a bunch of them that I cast. It's out of the Dodge Dart, but a, you know, a Dana 60 is a Dana 60. So I put that in there, and then uh, got it all finagled and cut and recut and glued, and you know, until I finally, like I say, till I finally bent it into Bennett's to my will and uh, there we go um, since I got a Ford cab I decided to go ahead and use a Ford motor so I got this big block uh, FE Ford out of the chip foos and um, so got it mounted and I guess that was the last thing I did so we're gonna do a drive got to do a drive shaft I got an issue right here which I knew I was gonna have an issue and I hadn't really figured out. I was just gonna kind of wait and see how we're gonna end up fixing it. Cause you see, we've got this possibly, so probably just gonna do a, uh, probably just gonna do a notch um, in here a little bit, just to clear the drive shaft. I was thinking I'll just run up and do a, uh, and I still might do that too, is just go a short drive shaft up to a, uh whatever you call that bearing the whatever whatever you call those drive shaft bearing things and so just go from here and then a uh, short one to here so maybe i don't know we'll see we'll get that far but anyway so we're just using all the old stuff that we got so then the in here so i had to do some trimming inside with and with the mill so this brings me to the thing 
So I go, because I, I, I've i used a bed kind of like this before, and I had to do kind of like the same thing before. It's a, um, I did an old 50s Chevy one that, that had a bed like this, except for, oh, shit, sorry. It was more, it had a little, little wedge to it, but I had to go in there and cut, and, you know, cut out the spot for the motor. That was that, uh, like, 51 Chevy four-door one that I did for Rich, it was green and black. And I put a twin, oh, broke my motor mount. Put a twin turbocharged big block in there. So we're not gonna go with all the, that kind of stuff this time. But anyhow, so this kind of leads to the, the, the whole thing is, and I, I put it like this. I've told you this before. I have made many, many, many videos that have never went anywhere because of some kind of technical what some issue okay and, and i don't know why it just seems like there's always an issue always an issue and that's the reason i don't do as many videos anymore because it's just like every time i do there's something so so yesterday i'm over here and i got this in the back because my mill's in the back now and i got it and i'm ready to start milling and um so I told Kim was standing there and I said, here, take a bit. Let's do a video of why I'm milling this out, you know, just to show the folks what's going on. So I had it in my vise. I start milling and the freaking chuck will not stay in the machine. The chuck has never, ever, ever fallen out of the machine in the whole type. And I milled a whole lot with that machine. It falls out. I put it back in. I tap it in. It falls out three freaking times. So this time I'm losing my mind and I say, fuck it. Sorry. I ain't doing this. So turn off the camera, whatever, put the thing back in and then it worked perfectly fine. So that's just one of the things that for whatever reason, it's not that I don't try to do videos. It's just like I, there's, it's always something. And there again, for no reason at all, and so, but I'm going to try to get through this video and get this out. So anyway, so that's where we're at. And, uh, so this is cut out to, you know, clear the motor. And then I went ahead and, and almost had a perfect cut in here, but I couldn't really tell how square I was. So I'm going to fix this up once I put the little tunnel in there. So I, I needed just a little bit of room clearance for the drive shaft. So, um, It'll have a little door, I guess, probably a little door across the top here. A little firewall, a little whatever, I don't know. You know, something to cover it up. Um, and it's actually, it sits, well, uh, the carburetor, it sits just a little bit below. So it may, with the air cleaner on here, it may even be just up. I might have just a little tiny cover over the, you know, maybe a cover with a scoop on it something like that you know i don't know so uh yeah we used the foos but we did ditch that oil pan um that came on it and put an actual uh this is out of the 66 galaxy amt um so this was the um what do you want big pan high capacity pan whatever that came out uh for the for the 427 sock motor um, they did have, it did come out, it had two pans. Uh, uh, so that was, that. I think I have some that are cast, but that's probably the last actually original one that I had. And when I opened up the box of big Ford parts, it was sitting right there. So I grabbed it, put another pan on it. And that's really all there, you know, that's really. And then it, we already got headers for it and we already got pipes for it. I mean, it's going to be, everything is going to probably work out fairly fairly slick with the the stuff that we have for it and it does have some kind of i think these are like some roush valve covers or whatever and i may use these or I may just find some you know some more originally uh original type ones for it yeah here's the oil pan which is fine and i was going to use it but it's got that little thing you got to fill that little hole in there and i just didn't feel like doing it so and I actually have some cast of this that are already taken care of, but I just wanted to go with that deep pan just because. Um, so that's where we're at. Um, 
Got the springs mounted. Had the engine mounted until I busted off the thing because it was just tacked on there. And um, I guess that's really about it. Uh, been putting in, um, getting more time at the bench, actually uh, doing some stuff. And uh, been, like I say, I've been feeling really good. So uh, I've been taking advantage and uh, to get in here and get some work done. And so now we can go and we can get rid of all this stuff. And these things come off here. Which, and I know I just, again, I have a, a little rule of thumb. This is all going to be black for those. So there's no reason it can't all be put together already because that's, I don't know if those are, I think those are, oh, those are just real tight. They're not glued on there, but they're pretty tight. So, so anyway, so now I got to go through and clean up. I got a bunch of mess, messes and adjustments and, you know, just cleaned up a little bit. It doesn't matter. It's, it's an old truck. Um, but the body is pretty cool. Um, I got to, I got to take the uh, grill to the mill. Obviously, you can see I got a whole bunch of stuff that needs to be removed off the front there but it's a pretty cool looking truck um it's got a pretty good radius or I like the wheel wells and everything on there so nice little cab and uh everything but definitely not going to put a motor in the um you know I, like i say i've been through the thing of trying to fit uh and I have, I, the, the, the first one of these I built was the 50 Ford, um, Jimmy Flintstone cab. And I used a bed really similar to this. Um, yeah. And I put a Hemi in that one. <laughs> I got it in there, but I'll tell you what, once I got all done and started putting the interior in and, you know, built the stuff around, around the engine and got it all done. I said there was only there's there was only room in there for a one-legged man <laughs> um and then i did another one that was kind of tight but a, a little bit better room um and that's when i just started saying you know it's just a whole lot easier to to uh put these engines in the back and uh it just is it's just a whole <laughs> it's just a whole lot easier to put them back there and 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 and, and go that way so um anyway that's where we're at that's what that's what's uh, going on and um uh, man we got uh we got another inch and a half of rain last night i think we've probably got six or seven inches of rain over the last week which is good because we hadn't got any rain forever and uh things are really starting to green up and look good out there uh i have a really really small garden this year and I bought two tomato plants, and then I I planted some cucumbers and watermelons and stuff like that. Um, just because of the disaster from last year, I'm, uh, you know, I was not going in like I did before. And, and uh, man, I got, I got tomatoes already on my one tomato plant, and my other stuff has grown really good, so... With all this rain and all this stuff, I might just, uh, I might throw a couple more things in the ground and see if something else will grow. Oh, what else? That's really about it. Just been, uh, you know, just been doing my thing, staying out of trouble. Uh, I had to buy a new lawn mower. My, uh, old mower, um... It was a good mower. I had it for like five years. Always good. And then started having a little bit of trouble and it started making this weird noise. On and off, on and off, weird noise. And I wasn't really sure, you know, what the hell. And all of a sudden I was mowing about, a, well, probably less than a month ago. And it was making a god-awful noise. And I'm like, what the hell's going on? And all of a sudden the freaking blade flew off. So, Yeah. And this was before all the rain happened, so the lawn mowing wasn't really much of a deal. Anyway, so I was talking to my neighbor, and he goes, oh, I can fix that. I can weld that up for you. He said, I, I took it over and gave it to him, and he says, hey, I'll just weld it up. 
And if it works, it works. So he welded it up and he brought it back and said, oh yeah. And I fired this thing up and I could tell when I first started to pull it, something, something's way out of, out of whack. And anyway, I got it to run and it, it, it was smooth, kinda. But when I went to, in, you know, it's a in driver mower. And when I went to engage it, it wouldn't, it wouldn't, it didn't have enough RPM. It, w it wouldn't engage and whatever. And so I thought, ah, screw it. And I thought, because I'd been planning on buying a new mower anyway. So I bought a new mower, got here the other day. So yesterday I was mowing, I'd mowed and then day before yesterday. And then yesterday I had this pile out front that I'd finally got all cleaned up. And I thought, well, I'll go clean it up with the mower a little bit. And I found the piece, there's a, when you put the blade on, you put the blade on, maybe this piece, piece goes on first and then the blade, and it's a chunk about this big. And anyway, either, it, anyway, somehow or another, I found the blade and I found the bolt and I found, because what had happened is the bolt had broken off and that's why the blade came off. And um, anyhow, I realized when I found that piece <laughs> that that's probably why the thing won't go because obviously there, this thing weighs probably about two pounds and it's supposed to be weight on the crankshaft. So anyway, it was just kind of funny that I found that. And anyway, it don't matter. It's out there. If you want one, if you need a, a an old beat up mower, I got one sitting out next to my trash can. You can pick it up, take it away. So so anyway, that's just the kind of stuff that's been going on. Nothing really, um, you know, just kind of fiddling around. I have been working on my lathe. Uh, I laid the whole bunch of tires um, like this, like here, where the backs, uh, the backside, so they would, you know, fit. I used two different backs pretty much, and they're, luckily they're both the same size. So, um, most of the tires have already drilled out, you know, in the front, but the, you know, the, I have other wheels, let's say 80% of my wheels that I have will fit the tires with the size they are, but the back, I needed to go in and cut them because that the, the backing plate part was actually bigger. And so, so I went through and I uh, did a bunch of tires, but I still got some still got some stuff to do and i've been trying to sit down and match up some tires with rims and you know making sets and doing that kind of stuff so i've been working on that um what else some other stuff just you know just kind of um little projects here and there and that's kind of that's kind of where this this whole thing started just, you know, needed another project. So I thought, well, what the hell? So, um, I guess that's it. And, oh, I did get the little Nova finished. I know there was, I don't remember if I finally ended up doing a video of that, but I finally did. I got the new bare metal foil. It was, it was worked really great. Um, I did have the problem with the freaking it was the chrome piece on the hood, which was throwing me for a loop. And it, it, I, I never, I think after I made the last video, I just couldn't figure out why in the frick the hood wouldn't fit. And I was like, I, I it was like, oh my God. Turns out that I'm working with parts from both kits. So there's a 64 and a 65, a hard top and a coupe. And it appears the only thing really different between those two cars is the taillights. And that that trim piece that goes across the hood. I guess the earlier one, I don't even know which one. Anyway, one of them, the chrome piece goes all the way across the hood. And the grill uh, and fits up against the grill. The other one, the grill has like these little corner pieces in there. And then you have to use the other trim. So I had them confused and I didn't know what it was. And... Uh, it drove me nuts for a few minutes, for a little bit, trying to figure out. I, I I just didn't know what the hell, you know, and finally figured it out. And it was like, oh, okay, cool. Everything's good. So got that thing done, got it shipped. Um, I haven't heard back from Charlie if it's been delivered yet. What's today, Saturday? Should have been there either yesterday or today. 
So hopefully that got out there and delivered and everything in, uh, in, uh, in time and, or not time, but you know, safely and all that stuff. So, okay, folks, that's what's going on here at the speed shop. I just keep trying to plug away. And so today's, um, going to try to get, uh, clean up all my bunch of, you can see I got some, I got messes here and there that didn't need some attention and uh, straighten up, clean up, fix the motor mount and uh, pretty much try to get this chassis um, um, taken care of because the next thing is I got to build a, we got to put a, a firewall and floor pan in here. And so that is, oh, it won't go down that far without my tires on there so anyway that's the next thing is to get that thing up there get the get the uh that and then and then get the cab cleaned up and the bed cleaned up and it doesn't have a lot of stuff but it does have a little bit of some stuff that needs you know it's not going to be shiny so it don't have to be perfect but definitely got to get in there and clean around the windows and all the little you know stuff like that so Okay, folks, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, leave your comments, any questions, anything you want to know, just let me know. So, take it easy.